practice lessons, students work independently or in pairs to complete a series of programming challenges. This lesson builds students' ability to independently program with new concepts and reinforces debugging skills. Hey class, all right, today you are mostly going to be practicing what we've already To learned. start a practice lesson, harder, you'll run a whole group warm-up that started, reinforces or introduces some debugging, of the debugging skills. Debugging skills that we've already learned. I've got three of them up here on the board. Who can After that, students start working on programming challenges, either on their own or in pairs. Most of your time will be spent circulating the room and supporting students either one-on-one -on -one or in small groups. So it's not working. Oh. Well, hold on, let me, you know what, actually, we all can do this. While Where tempting, do you, think it's you should resist debugging code for students. Instead, ask leading questions to help students hunt for bugs. A key goal of practice lessons is to help students develop debugging practices that will help them solve problems independently in the future. There's lots of other resources, like the Help and Tips tab, code documentation, or even code from the investigate lesson that you can point students towards. If you notice the whole room is struggling with the same task, you may make the decision to bring the whole group together for a discussion. Folks, I am seeing a lot of people get stuck in kind of the same spot. If you all want to join me here, can I get a can I get a hand somebody what's going on here? As you prepare for the lesson, you'll want to understand both the programming challenges students will be completing and the debugging skills you'll be encouraging. Yeah. Try out the programming challenges yourself and review the debugging skills. Anticipate places in the lessons where students may have misconceptions about the content of task and consider using the vocabulary and shared mental model to help correct those misconceptions. When you're planning, decide if you want to utilize pair programming for this lesson. You can always pair program for some parts and encourage students to work on their own for other parts. Yeah, it works. Great. Cool. Awesome. During practice lessons, students are programming without the teacher at the center of the room. But this should not be confused with pure independent creation. The practice lesson format moves students towards independent creation by giving them scaffolded challenges. We'll see more independent creation coming up in the make lesson.